sugar, a substance that sneaks into almost every food imaginable. But what makes the sugar habit so hard to kick? You see, once in the body, sugar lights up the opioid and dopamine centers in your brain. Those chemicals trigger the reward part of any addiction and make you crave more of it. Diets that are high in sugar are often the cause of type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, heart disease, ADHD, and the list goes on. That's why I'm inviting you to join our four-week challenge called the 28-Day Sugar Detox Challenge. All right, here's what may happen to your body as you follow the journey to the 28th day. Number one, sugar withdrawal. Like any other addiction, detoxing from sugar gets worse before it gets better. During the first few days to the first week, cravings are intense, headaches happen. You feel anxious and deprived, but keep your head up because it only lasts a few days. Because your taste bud receptors will soon become used to the natural sweetness of foods like broccoli, asparagus, and sweet potato, real hunger will come back and you'll enjoy real food again. Your hunger hormones, leptin and ghrelin, will be rebalanced and will tell you when to start or stop eating. This makes dieting almost effortless. You'll naturally crave whole nutritious foods without feeling deprived of anything. Number two, more stable blood sugar. Unsurprisingly, your blood sugar will stabilize as it draws out the last reserves of glucose from the muscles in the liver your body will become fat adapted. This means you'll start to make ketones for energy, the body's alternative fuel source. Insulin spikes will also become rare. This is not surprising since low carb diets have been shown to reverse type two diabetes altogether. Number three, better mood and more mental clarity. When going cold turkey on sugar, most people experience a brighter mood and a lower tendency for anxiety and depression. Thanks to the stabilized blood sugar, you'll get fewer mood swings and less irritable and hangry. Number four, a lift in energy. When you're sensitive to sugar, it causes low production of beta endorphins and serotonin. This may unknowingly make you feel fatigued. After dishing sugary food, your insulin starts dropping and your body starts to produce energy out of fat. This is steady, clean, natural energy that lasts throughout the day as opposed to the short bursts of manic sugar-fueled energy, followed by a slump. Number five, a healthier liver. It's a myth that eating too much fat causes fatty liver. Studies prove the condition known as non-alcoholic liver disease is caused by a high fructose diet. When you cut out sugars, the body begins to use up all the fat stored up in the liver. In one study, only nine days of eating a low sugar diet resulted in 3.4% reduction in liver fat. Your liver will pay you back the favor with improved insulin resistance and stabler blood sugar levels. Number six, healthy, youthful looking skin. The main process by which sugar harms your skin is called glycation. Glycation happens when glucose and fructose from sugar link the amino acids found in collagen and elastin, the main scaffolding of the skin. Harmful end products are produced, which lead to the so-called sugar sag, skin that's prematurely aged from a high sugar diet. In addition, sugary foods raise insulin, which ramps up the production of androgen hormones. The result, random acne breakouts that come out of nowhere. Cutting out sugar prevents this from happening and sets you on the path to clear, radiant, and bright skin. Number seven, dropped blood pressure. Added sugars have been shown to cause hypertension or high blood pressure directly and indirectly by promoting obesity. After spending four weeks without sugar, don't be surprised if you see a drop in blood pressure. Number eight, weight loss. Study after study shows that cutting out sugar may help you finally see the scale budge. That's because high sugar foods typically aren't satiating, tricking your body into wanting more. When you switch over to a whole food diet high in fat and protein, you'll feel fuller with much less. This can lead to weight loss even without adding any exercise. You may also lose dangerous visceral fat hugging your organs, which sugar has been linked to. Number nine, you'll sleep better. A recent study done on 100 female students found that a higher added sugar intake directly led to lower sleep quality. Keep in mind that sugar withdrawal may initially cause some disturbances in sleep before it gets better. 
By the time you've reached the end of the 28 day sugar detox, expect to wake up feeling more rested in the mornings. Number 10, better blood work. If you make it to the 28 mark, you'll probably notice your blood glucose and A1C have dropped. In addition, overall inflammation in the body may go down and your biomarkers will show that. But your lipid profile may also improve, and here's why. In the past, it was thought eating fatty foods is what affects your triglycerides and the ratio between the good and bad cholesterol. Science now shows sugar is the main culprit behind high cholesterol. Eliminating it from your diet may lead to dramatic improvements in the blood lipid department. Okay, so at this point, I hope you're feeling pumped about starting the 28 day sugar detox challenge. You can only be four weeks away from a life of almost effortless, healthy eating, a life that's finally free of cravings, mood swings, and anxiety, coupled with blood work that impresses your doctor. And after seeing these benefits multiply over time, you'll probably wonder why haven't you done this before? Ready to begin? Then click the link in the description below to head over to our detailed yes and no list of foods allowed on this challenge. Now watch other videos you can see right here on your screen and see you next time.